Hello, this is Maruf again. Um, if you are wondering to move to Linux as a desktop operating system first time and want to know, uh, want to choose the best uh, one out of all those Linux distribution, then this video might help you. Um, I've been using uh, Linux uh, for my desktop uh, for quite some time um, and uh, and I, I actually tried, got a chance to try many of the uh, Linux desktop OS, uh, and uh, I came up with the, uh, my top five picks uh, out of all the different distributions that are out there. Um, so the first one uh, I picked uh, for anybody who's moving to Linux for the first time would be Linux Mint. Uh, when you move to Linux, the, one of the uh, biggest challenge that you'll face is basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, Installing, uh, you know, codecs, um, plugins, uh, and things like that, um, and also uh, navigating as well. Uh, so you may not be using the command line right at the beginning, uh, but uh, you know, uh, I think uh, to start off, uh, my number one pick is uh, Linux Mint. So once you install Linux Mint, you'll notice that most of the plugins like Java, you know, Flash. Um, and different media codecs are already installed uh, and it's very easy to uh, use as well. I like the Mint 16 Cinnamon cinnamon one. Uh, Mate is also good but uh, um, I, I like Cinnamon but depending on you have different choices. Um, it's uh, based on um, Ubuntu uh, or Debian um, you know depending on the one distribution you choose. Uh, so whatever command that works in Ubuntu or Debian should work on Linux Mint. Um, and uh, you'll find it really easy to use. Uh, so you go to linuxmint.com, you should be able to download from there. Uh, if you're using, installing Linux on an uh, old system that doesn't have enough CPU and memory, I would choose uh, uh, the Linux Mint uh, um, either Mate or there is a uh, XFCE, I believe. Uh, let me see here. Uh, should have an XFC version. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, released yet, but they might have an older version that you can go to the download. And you should see an XFC version. So that basically, um, you know, uh, allow you to run uh, Linux Mint on a uh, slow old system. But uh, you know, in most cases, Cinnamon, uh, uh, Mate, or KDE should work. But my my personal choice is Cinnamon. I like it uh, uh, the way it is, uh, and it's very easy to install, right? So, so I would choose Linux Mint as my number one choice. If you like to, uh, you know, uh, the Unity environment, so Ubuntu um, uh, is the, uh, you know, it's the, basically they made a big revolution in the Linux desktop world. Even in, in the, they, 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 they did a big favor on the Linux world, um, and they made it more popular. I would say. Uh, back when I started using Linux and I found Ubuntu uh, was the one that basically at right at the beginning that I could use uh, instead of uh, in a Fedora or anything else. Um, so um, if you like the Ubuntu Unity desktop, um, then 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 you can choose Ubuntu. You might have to install the packages, some, some of the third-party applications like, uh, you know, Codex, but, you know, there are a lot of uh, pages outside. Uh, and of, uh, help uh, documents uh, on the on Google or even in the Ubuntu uh, wiki, you know, uh, you can use, make use of, uh, then you can choose this as well. So, um, you know, uh, as you see here, um, the Ubuntu Unity UI is a little bit different than the, the Mint one. Um, the Mint one has a similar kind of a um, um, Windows style look if you're looking for, you know, start menu type scenario. So, um, but uh, it, I would say, you know, one, I would choose, make Ubuntu as the second choice um, and Mint as the number one, uh, but Ubuntu is also good. I, I love Ubuntu as well. I have system, uh, one of my home is system that uses Ubuntu and I have a home system that uses uh, uh, Linux Mint, but uh, you know, choice depending on what you like. Uh, you find some of the um, uh, adver advertisement stuff uh, kind of... Uh, uh, annoying in Ubuntu, so when you search for something, sometimes it'll, you know, um, give you a suggestion from Amazon, from the web. Uh, 
but you can turn it off so uh, that's something that I don't like uh, but you know I know they have uh, you know go to bundle.com you should also just download desktop and then uh, you know try it out um, um, there is a um, there's a very good uh, wiki that Ubuntu has the documentation for Ubuntu is really good uh, I would say and also uh, uh, the community support is uh, larger than any of the distributions you can think of but again Mint is based on Ubuntu and Debian so whatever document you see in Ubuntu wiki may also uh, apply in the uh, Mint wiki, Mint uh, distribution. Um, now these two are uh, um, are Debian based, right? Um, if you're looking to move to Debian, and this is the first time you're moving, you can should also you can also choose this uh, um, elementary OS, I would say. Uh, if you're a music lover um, and you want something similar to Mac and uh, you know uh, easy to use, they are also easy to use. Uh, uh, I found. And they have, uh, you know, uh, codecs and everything open as well, installed as well. So not much, uh, but they're pretty new in the market right now. Uh, and, you know, I, I think they're not that old as uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu in the game. So uh, again, depends on your choice. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're uh, early, they're a new player in this Linux uh, desktop market. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can try it out as well. Um, so there is a video here that you can check uh, that might help you, uh, and it's elementary OS dot org and it's based on Ubuntu, I believe twelve point oh four. So it's similar to so whatever com commands and you know um, uh, uh, some of the uh, installation methods might work in uh, elementary OS as well. Uh, but again, uh, they are new, so it's up to you. My fourth choice is Fedora. Okay. So if you are a person who wants to learn more about the, um, you know, Red Hat uh, ecosystem or CentOS ecosystem, say, you know, you want to kind of get your hands on to uh, uh, Linux uh, and you want to uh, make a habit to use Linux uh, as a desktop, your primary desktop OS, um, and uh, but you don't want to sacrifice some of the, uh, you know, uh, functionality that you you want you look for on the desktop OS then I would choose Fedora. Uh, Fedora is a very good um, uh, distribution and they are in the Linux world for quite some time and they are found by uh, you know Red Hat and basically uh, the command line and some of the uh, the way things are the file system uh, structure is similar to Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS. So if you um, if you install Fedora and start using it, and at some point you get into command line, then you'll find Fedora as your as a good uh, gateway to your uh, Linux server administration site. Uh, but they they are also good, but they don't come up with any uh, plugins or codecs installed. Uh, so when you install it right at the beginning, you might have to. Uh, there are some uh, uh, there's a tool called Fedora Utilities. So I think uh, you search in. Uh, Google, right? Um, there's a Fedora Utils package that you can use uh, to install uh, additional software like third-party uh, codecs and applications. Uh, so it's not too hard. Once you do that, it's similar to you know uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu. So by default, Fedora comes up with a choice of um, um, GNOME, KDE and um, XFCE, so uh, if you go download here, it's fedoraproject.arc, and you can download different media here. Uh, I think, uh, let me go here. So the, sorry. If you go, um, so, um, Fedora Desktop Live Media. I think you have a choice of um, KDE and GNOME, uh, but uh, you know they kind of make it harder to choose it on their website. 
uh, I think by default uh, is the uh, is the gnome gnome desktop but uh, you can you can uh, choose here and uh, oh here you go uh, so if you go to desktops you can choose which one you want uh, so yeah they have all kinds of like uh, gnome uh, Fedora 20 KD spin you know LXDE uh, this is more of like a uh, you know low-end system LXD and XFC you know something that is you know not very high-end uh, and made as well, uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, so you, you know you can you can also install made uh, desktop, which is similar to Linux Mint. Um, and I never used the SOS SOAS uh, desktop yet, but you can try. But you know, if you are choosing for the first time, I would choose GNOME, either GNOME um, or Made or KDE, uh, depending on the choice, right? Uh, but you can try it out. Uh, I, I, I do a lot of VM uh, on Linux, uh, so you know, I always try in a VM first and then see how it is and then I decide which one to use. Uh, my last choice, if you are a Linux geek and you you tried actually most of the other ones that I mentioned, Ubuntu and Mint, uh, but you also like to uh, you know play with your distribution a lot more in a granular basis. Uh, and you like Arch Linux, then Manjaro Linux would be the choice I would I would go for, right? Uh, because uh, Manjaro is based on Arch Linux, which is basically um, uh, you know uh, allows you to customize a lot of stuff, and it's a bleeding edge. You know, you get all the latest packages, and and it's actually a rolling release, right? So uh, it's for someone who is more advanced into Linux and also want to play with their desktop. Uh, with the bleeding edge, uh, you know, applications and features. So I would choose uh, Arch as my fifth choice. So these are the five. So my first choice is Linux Mint. Second is Ubuntu. Uh, third is Elementary OS. These three are for the introductory category, like someone who's just wanna try Linux for the first time uh, and wanna get get going, and then um, and then kind of have the experience and learn more on the Linux world later on. And, and, and Fedora and uh, Manjaro is like third and fourth, uh, sorry, fourth and fifth. And Manjaro is someone who is from uh, uh, intermediate to advanced, and F uh, Manjaro is mostly for advanced users, right? So uh, these are the five choice. Uh, so uh, I hope this helps. Uh, if you like the video, just subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, thank you for watching.